Hi, I'm Greg and welcome to my shop. Today in this video I am going to be restoring this old um, user-made, uh, what do you call it? It's a rabbit plane, but it's a bullnose rabbit plane. And it has a piece of metal on here, so I'll go through fixing up that, sharpening the blade, and putting linseed oil on the body. It's hard to tell what they had in here before. It looks like some sort of lacquer, but I'm just going to take steel wool and rub it down with steel, steel wool, just in case it, because it, planes are supposed to have linseed oil or some sort of wax. So come in closer and I'll start taking this apart. So here's the plane. Make sure it's in shot here. I'm going to start tearing it apart. Um, I'm going to take this metal piece off first and take the wedge out first. Actually, first I'm going to start with taking the wedge out. So it just involves taking the hammer. Knock out the wedge. Really nice, tight fitting wedge. I might even trim that down. That was almost too tight. Um, Nice mouth, sort of. I might take a file and just sort of clean that out. Need old iron. Um, so I'm going to de rust that. I'm sharpen it up. Um, so, yeah, so now I'm just going to make sure the camera's still on there. Good. Um, so now I'm going to take off this bullnose part. Get all the parts here. Get that out of the way. Take off this. Now, what I would do before you start taking screws out like this, um, I would get a, these are called dental picks or mechanics picks or something along those lines. And I would take these and sort of take it into the groove and scrape it out to make sure there's no dirt. And that'll make sure you don't strip out the screw when you're trying to twist it out. It just makes the screwdriver fit more, um, firmly in the slot. Let's take these out. Simple screws. That's sort of like the slotted screw look. Looks old, very old fashioned. I wouldn't call this a super old plane. Um, the blade is, I don't know if I said, but it's made out of a file. Um, smoothing out all down the blade portion, but it's still rough up here on the tang really thick beefy iron. I never thought of that and I'm gonna make planes with that. That's a good idea. There's the two screws off, right like that. Laid back, pop that off. It looks like there's still mill scale on the back. And I don't know if he got this, he must've got this machined at a shop. It's hard to say. Or this just came from the factory like, or it was a factory made plane, but I'm pretty sure it was a user made plane. There's all those parts. Um, checking the camera again. Um, so now I'm going to set this aside for now. Plain body. Stick that right here. Along with the wedge. Bring in these. And now, I'm just going to give them a brush, a little brush off with this brush wheel. Not too bad. Uh, no, that's not a good idea. I usually have a finer, like, plastic bristle brush around to do this stuff, but I don't right now. So I'll just give it a wipe down with some paper towel. Get any extra grease or grime off, I guess. I'm not going to worry about the screws. Just wipe that. And then, to get off this rust, I usually just use vinegar. People do electrolysis and all this fancy metal products, but I've always had good luck with just plain old vinegar. So I'm just going to drop the screws in. Not going to leave them in for very long. Probably just less than 24 hours. Probably, probably by the time we get to them, it'll probably be uh, not even 20 hours. Probably 18 hours after work tomorrow. Quite late at night right now. Take this front piece. This is really the worst of them all. Got on camera. Yeah, right there. And I'm going to drop that in. Well, not drop it. I had a bad experience with getting vinegar in my eye the other day. Not very pleasant. I'm going to put lay it in like that because the back I don't care about because it's resting against the plane. So we're just going to set it like that and then it gets, lets the vinegar get all into the important spots. Watch out for splashes. Nice and smelly vinegar. And then the iron down here, I'm going to be fixing all up to sharpen it. So I'm not going to worry about that. And it's going to be really hard to clean out of the 
file grew, so I'm just gonna put the back in like this into the vinegar, like that, and then set that aside. <laughs> 